Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for some secret sauce and today I want to show you how to do the dark and moody look in seconds. So you can go from a picture like this to this look or from a picture like this to this look. Pretty cool, right? My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. That is very important. Thank you for that. Let's get started. So. When we start this and I show you all the adjustments, you might think, but where is the seconds? Well, this is about creating a master file and then you can drag other pictures into that and they will automatically have these adjustments. So you just have to save that and that really takes seconds. So let's see what I have done here. Here is the original picture and we have all the colors in here, of course. So we want to mute the other colors. We want to desaturate them except of the red tones. So a way to do that is to go here to adjustments and add an HSL adjustment on top of your picture, of course. So select one of these points, doesn't matter which one. I wanna select the green one because this already is in the area of the green colors we want to remove. And then you have these gray handles here. So move them over on both sides so they go towards the red color, which is the only color we want want to preserve here so like that and then also the inside handles that's pretty important move them over to like this all right so with this done we can now go down here to saturation shift grab the handle move it over you can go to zero percent like minus 100 percent so it's completely black and white but i would suggest that you leave a little bit of color in there and you can see this has a gray tone and it's kind of contrasting with the red or the orange we want to create later on so i want to go here to the hue shift grab that handle and move it over a little bit let's say to 30 or 29 percent stuff like that so you can see now the grass is a little bit brown and it's closer to our warm red or orange tones okay the next thing we want to do is to make this more moody to make it more soft so the way to do that is you go here to your life filters and then select gaussian blur if this like here snaps to your hsl adjustment click on the little arrow and then select your gaussian blur click and drag to move it on top right the next thing we want to do is set this to soft light down here as a blend mode. Click here on preserve alpha and then move up the radius. And you can see how this makes the picture look nice and soft. You can see before, after. Now you might say this is a little bit dark. So I hear you. The next thing we're going to do is to create another adjustment for curves. And in this case, I want to have the dark areas a little bit brighter so click down here in that area push that up a bit to taste you can do any setting you like this is completely up to you so you can create your own kind of dark and moody look and then up here click again and move this a little bit down so the brighter areas get a little bit darker you can also see we get a little bit of the drama in the sky back so that's pretty cool all right now we have to change the red values into orange values. You could use an h &L adjustment again, but I wouldn't suggest that. What I want to show you is that you go down here to adjustments and select the selective color adjustments because here you can go selective on the color as it says. So select the red values. Here you can see we have a lot of different choices. We want to select the reds and then move down the cyan. You can see already it's changing move down the magenta now you can see this is getting orange now because we have still the yellow values in here but we weakened the cyan and the magenta values you can see here if i move this down to minus 100 percent on the cyan that gives me a nice bright orange and when i move the magenta in a little bit it makes the orange warmer and then it turns into kind of a pink and a violet and then goes back to red so we want to keep this down here and again set it to your taste set it to whatever you like what feels good to you okay so there's one thing left you can see down here because our skin often like depending on where you are you from is kind of red has this kind of pink tones in there so look out for that you can see here this is a little bit orange you might not like that so what you can do here is simply create a pixel layer as you can see here and then set this to 
saturation as the blend mode, take a brush, set it up in the right size, maybe make this a little bit smaller here, and then set the opacity to 30%, the hardness to low, like 11% in this case, set the color to black, and then simply go and paint in here. And you can see that this does remove our orange from the hand. And you can even, if this wasn't enough, you can even click a second time and brush over these areas again. So this will remove it. And then you still have the luxury to be able to adjust the opacity. You can see if I set the opacity to zero, this brings back all of the orange. So I can set it, for example, let's say to 60%. So there's a little bit of orange on the hand. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's zoom out. And now that we have set this up, you can save this as a master file. Just keep in mind that this pixel layer is just for this picture for the hand. So this is an adjustment you have to do for the other pictures individually. But now, for example, I go here to file and place, select any other picture, for example, this one that we have seen before with the bells. So that's nice. I want to spread this out over the canvas like so, and then simply move this down below all of my adjustments and boom, we have to look in seconds. Turn off the pixel layer because we don't have a hand in here and you can see in seconds we have that look. You can apply to all of your pictures and because it's adjustment layers, because you saved this as an affinity photo file with all the layers, you can still go in here and do adjustments to whatever kind of look you want to have. So this is really quick, really adaptive, really artistic and very individual. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Join my Facebook group so you can post your results there. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.